bugs have been notorious this summer. So finally getting back to making a few videos here. Uh, this will probably be a series that's, I don't know, who knows how many episodes it'll be. But anyways, got some solar panels here that we're going to use to do a little upgrade to the solar backup system. Uh, we'll get this uh, time lapse going here. Um, going to be drilling some holes. So get that going and then... Uh, Anyways, so my goal for my system is I want to be able to run my primaries, my heat, uh, my freezers, my refrigerator, uh, those types of things for a couple of days would be ideal. And this system should hopefully be able to do that once I get these panels wired in. Um, <clears throat> this is the best uh, sunniest spot that I have on my property uh, it faces south by southwest a little bit right here uh, these panels it should make it so that I should be able to hopefully not have to run a generator but if I have to run a generator after a couple of days that isn't the worst thing in the world either, but my thing is I want to keep the heat on in the winter and the freezers go in the refrigerator, internet hooked up to it and the lights and TV and stuff. So the only thing that I don't have hooked up to it yet is the the well pump and that is going to happen here hopefully this winter I got the, the auto transformer because that is 240 so if we get some time we get that wired in and then yeah we should be be pretty well set all right well two two mornings of digging and we got almost all our tubes in the holes are dug for the other two I just gotta go to town and get them but uh, yeah that was a lot of work my auger is only 12 inch and these are 16 inch Sono tubes so we'll get these other two put in there and then we'll start pouring some concrete. Well, today we're gonna start uh, mixing some concrete, filling up the tubes. Another step towards getting the panels mounted. Um, the only other thing that I'd maybe like to do once I get kind of a baseline on these panels is maybe add some more uh, maybe a few more batteries and then over on the, the far edge of the, the fence line I'd like to maybe put some panels along there just mainly for in the winter time because you know our solar isn't the best in the winter so but we won't know that until this winter gets here and I can see how this is performing. I mean, the, the worst is going to be, you know, December, January, when the sun is at its lowest point. So that's why I'm kind of going to gear this more towards the wintertime, a wintertime setup than a summertime because. I'm pretty sure the summertime I'll have excess for what I need. So, yeah, that's the plan. Um, I just got to get the concrete put in so I can get these racks put up. The, the racking is from Signature Solar. Uh, it's the bright marker, whatever. It is 
that they have. And then, so yeah, that's, that's what we're gonna try to get accomplished. All right, well, we're one step closer. We got the forms poured for the, the base for the solar rack and uh, we'll give this a week to cure out and then start assembling the solar panels and racks and all that fun stuff. So, been a long day. Uh, about 80 bags of sackcrete and one trip to town to get some more. So, yeah, it's been a workout. Third t-shirt today, so <coughs> anyways.